be the preacher, would you be my? What's the done, the done, done? I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is your boy Zach Playzan, and today we are back here on High Pixel Skyblock for another episode of High Pixel Skyblock. And in today's episode, we're gonna be going over another piece of what is considered to be one of the best sets of armor that you can get in the game. It is a combination of the skeleton helmet, uh, the guardian chest plate, creeper pants, and spider boots, and currently I only have the guardian chest plate, which in my opinion is probably the easiest one to get, don't get me wrong. So we do have some hard work ahead of us. I've made some videos about how you can go about getting the creeper pants as well. And today, we're going to be talking about the best way to go about trying to get your hands on the skeleton helmet. And it's honestly, it's rinse and repeat with a lot of these items so far. It's you gotta grind, you gotta put in the time, and uh, you gotta put in the time to be able to come and hop on, do your collection so you can try and get the materials required to actually craft a lot of these pieces. But overall, I believe that it is going to be worth it, and uh, I'm really excited to see what the final outcome is. So I've made some really good progress, and I'd love to show you guys that over on my island. But before we get into that, I do want to say thank you so much for all the support on the channel. We are at 14.1k subs already. We hit 14,000 subs the day I'm recording this. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. And also, I'm giving away a pigment sword. Link to, the Link to the giveaway is in the description down below. The giveaway is super easy to enter, and I'm doing it with a bunch of other awesome YouTubers, and so that's pretty exciting. You must be subscribed to my channel before you can even go about starting the rest, so make sure you guys do that. And uh, leave a like while you guys are down there. I'm pretty excited for this one. My voice is a little, little uh, dry at the moment, but um, I do apologize for that. But let's get into today's episode of High Pixel Skyblock. So here we are back on the island. I grabbed some water. Hopefully my voice can last a little bit longer this time. That was a little pitiful in the intro, but uh, it is 2 in the morning. So let's give me a little bit of a break. I've been uh, working on expanding the island a little bit too in terms of the actual size of it. I just realized I still have 24 dirt left. So we can go ahead and place this while I talk about what we're doing today. And I probably already said in the intro, but we are working on our way towards the skeleton helmet. The skeleton helmet is actually probably one of the most important and one of the best pieces in the actual armor set in total once we get all four pieces for this thing. Uh, this thing is an absolute beast. If we go into our collection, we're going to go into combat collection. Uh, bone right here, bone number eight. This is where you unlock the skeleton helmet and, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, the skeleton helmet Gives you an extra 75 defense. Can't complain about that. Item ability is called Bone Shield. A Bone Shield will surround you, nullifying damage you take, but consuming a bone in the process. Bones regenerate every 30 seconds. It's kind of like a floating hologram thing almost around your head. It's uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's like there's three bones uh, just circling around your helmet, kind of just in a slow circle, and every the first three hits will be nullified basically by that thing. So when you go in to fight the Magma Boss, for example, no matter how much damage it does, let's say the Magma Boss jumps right on top of you and what would one shot kill you, it doesn't do any damage. And he can do that two more times until the bones are out and then every 30 seconds it regenerates one of the bones, which is pretty cool. And uh, at first when I saw that, I thought I consumed bones from your inventory. I thought I'd have to have like actual bones in my inventory, but no, that is not the case. It's these medical, like, um, I wouldn't say metaphorical, but you guys get the, you guys get the picture. They kind of just float around your head. It's actually really cool. And, uh... Yeah, pretty cool addition if you ask me, in my opinion, really cool uh, effect, like really cool um, uh, item ability is what I was trying to say. The problem with this item is it costs five stacks of enchanted bones to craft. One enchanted bone, for those of you who don't know, costs two and a half stacks of regular bones, which is uh, quite, it's a good amount of bones. And uh, at the moment, as you can see, I've got one skeleton guy going away and he's been going ham. He's been doing great stuff for me. He is uh, level 7 to upgrade one more time will cost another stack of enchanted bones. And I just don't have those, that amount of enchanted bones to give away right now. And I'm pretty sure it only doesn't even increase storage, just increases how fast he goes. Like to the next tier is, uh, it's 20 seconds, 576. Oh no, okay, so it is more storage. It is uh, by three more stacks of bones, which actually is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. That's like an extra, uh, That yeah, that's an extra enchanted bone every single time I collect. But uh, it would cost a stack to do, and that would take a long time to be worth its while. At the moment, I have over two stacks of enchanted bones, and I've been thinking about just buying the rest of the bones, but I think I'm honestly just going to grind for them. This did not take too long to get. I've, uh, For example, if you guys haven't seen my how to get a hurricane bow, which is the bow I have right now, I have this strong hurricane bow. I keep on forgetting to actually enchant this thing. I need to put some better stuff on it. It already is so good. Like It already does so much damage, and like... Like, it just mauls down mobs and stuff. Like, I can shoot up here. That guy's dead. 
Oh, no, the fence is getting in the way. But you guys get the gist. It's already really overpowered and shoots five bow shots just like that. And then the middle one aims at a target, which is really cool. And uh, can kind of like mow down crowds. So it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a good bow. And uh, I definitely recommend. But um, yeah, so I, I built this. And this thing costs a stack and a half of enchanted bones to actually craft. Along with a stack and a half of just normal string. And um, so yeah, I, I made a bunch of those. I sold a couple on the auction house. I made myself like 300k in the process, which is what we have. And uh, yeah, it was going pretty well. And so I used up all my enchanted bones for that. And I kind of wish I didn't because now I want skeleton helmet. But at the same time, I do love my bow, so no regrets. But we are, uh, we're almost halfway towards our skeleton helmet, which is actually really exciting. And uh, yeah, so we just need to get to here. So like that's if these were the fill up right here. And that was the stack. So not too far away in my opinion and uh we should be there hopefully sooner rather than later which is really exciting and also uh this is another thing i'm working on on the side but if we go into collection combat zombie uh zombie sword this one right here 100 damage 50 strength which isn't even as good as the aspect of the end and it costs two zombie hearts so i might just go for the zombie armor instead because i did make a video about grinding for the zombie armor which i still am and, uh, well, it costs a lot. It's four stacks of enchanted rotten flesh. And so four, eight, 12, 16 stacks of enchanted rotten flesh just for the chest plate alone, which is ridiculous. So it's, uh, it's a long-term project. I might go for the zombie sword in the meanwhile and make a cool video about that, showing off the stats and how well it does. But let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually go ahead and get your hands on bones so you can build your first uh skeleton minion it's super easy and there's a really cool spot for it so i'm gonna take you guys over there right now also shout out to this guy for randomly visiting my island while uh while i'm recording so yeah hey bud <laughs> so you're gonna want to make your way through the graveyard all the way over to the spider's den so this may seem like a bit of a hassle but uh the zombies are pretty easy to get past you kind of just walk past them and you're probably thinking spider's den for skeletons uh, seems a little strange if you ask me. And you're right, it is. I don't understand it either. But if you go over to the left, you see these giant uh, skeletons. Like, like these aren't like the mob skeletons, but these giant like dinosaur looking skeletons. And you'll see some spiders laying around. There's also a couple slimes that you can find in this area. But if you keep on working your way around the island, um, you will see a patch of area where skeletons spawn. Over here, skeletons spawn. Uh, quite frequently is a good spot to grind for them. Honestly, I'd say probably the best spot besides actually wanting to go into the mine. And also, my uh, sword gives you it gives ten bones per kill, which is ridiculous. Also, over here you can grind. You can get uh, yourself some gravel, which is always really exciting. And uh, in case you need it, and some flint stuff like that, if you ever want to make some arrows. So I think that is really cool as well, buddy. Stop shooting. Oh. This guy. I'm just trying to get some bones over here. Haha, ha, I got them. So yeah, my uh, my sword gives between like 6 to 10 bones per kill, which is also really exciting. And like 37 up to 47. And here, let's, let's try and kill one more. 53. 62. <laughs> and just like that over a stack of bones just from a couple. So get looting 3 on your sword. Otherwise, you're slacking because it is ridiculously overpowered on this server, looting 3. So I definitely recommend doing that. And uh, yeah, so really exciting stuff. This is the, probably the best spot to grind for skeletons. And they just keep respawning. And then you can kind of just hop around and uh, kill these guys. So definitely recommend coming here. Get looting 3 on your sword. And you'll be able to get a skeleton minion super quickly. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much for all the support on the channel recently. You guys are absolutely insane. I love you all so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. And uh, I don't know where he is, but die. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> uh, he's dead. Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and you haven't already. Leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more Hypixel Skyblock content. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see in tomorrow's episode. I've been uploading daily all through July. We are on day 27 of uploading daily through July. We're going to make it this whole month, I'm telling you. And then we're going to go all of August. So I'm pretty excited for that. And expect a stream coming soon. I know I've been saying that, but I'm finally setting up the stream. And uh, so expect that in the next couple days. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. Comment what you want to see me uh, do in the next one. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys there. Bye.